Hey, that's probably why. Oops. Does that work? Does that work now? Okay, my bad. I accidentally turned on sound on next split. Sound system, okay. I've heard the sound issues go away kind of when you get in the game, so uh, we'll see if that if that works out. Uh, sorry, the slow mode is there just so it doesn't get too hectic for me because I can't even read. If I have like a lot of viewers, I like, literally cannot read the amount of questions people are sending, and that that read pretty fast, so it's. It's kind of ridiculous. I have to always put the slow mode on. When I casting gig is tomorrow. Uh, it's Tuesday right now in Korea, so in about 26 hours I'll be casting OG in Group C. I think they're actually going to have me in a suit as well, which is uh, interesting. I'll leave it at that. Uh, I don't know if we'll be at IPL5. We'll probably will. But IPL5 is after Season 2, so we're not, like, we're literally not even thinking about it right now. No, people play Cassio in tournaments, it's just... Uh, she's a hard champion to pick up. She really is. Uh, what do I want to play? What do I want to play? Don't want to play that. Don't really feel like playing that. Rises up, but hmm. I actually played Zillion. I haven't played as a champion in a long time. I'm gonna try a new a new build on him as well because I want to see how this works out. Let's go ahead and go. 21 utility this game. I want to see exactly how this works out. What the heck? Where did I? Whoops. I was going to say, where did I mess up points here? So what, I have 30. Hmm. Where can I chip off a point for that? I'll chip a point off CDR for that. God JJ actually has a really good Ezreal. Uh, from what I've seen, his Ezreal plays really good, but I haven't seen much of his stream. Thoughts on Zyra, no idea, she's, she's not out yet. I think, uh... I can't say anything about, about our, our immediate future because there's going to be a really big announcement that's going to be made within this week about what we're doing. Uh, and since I don't want to spoil it, you'll just have to wait and see. But it definitely isn't what people expect. It shouldn't be what people expect. It's not a gaming house, but you'll you'll see you'll 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 definitely see. You know Zach Bennett? Yes, I haven't met the guy, but he's a great Marvel player. I personally watched pretty much every time he's played. Okay, so oh, I'm against Personas. Ooh, it's the same Janna from last game, and that Amumu player is actually a really really fanatical Fizz player. And I've lost against this Fizz middle lane. Every time I try like a new character, I just lose against it because this Fizz is... Uh, I'm an idiot and this Fizz is pretty good. So a combination of those two makes it quite annoying. And look at this ping like in Korea. I don't know if you guys have realized, but like, like this is the highest ping in the game. 28. Like this guy must live like, I don't know, so far away. We have 8, 8, 8, 8, 7. 10, 10, 8. Like, it's ridiculous. Well, who am I against? Ori. Well, let me try this. I'm gonna try a 2 mana pot opener this game. The new mana pot change from 40 to 35 gold allows me to do this. 
with only one point to that one point after greed. Or that one mastery after greed, I don't really know what it's called. Uh, fortune? Is that what it is? No, I, don't, I have no idea. So you see I start XP Quince this game, and I go Magic Pen Reds, and MP5 Yellows, and MR Blues. So my Magic Pen, like my XP right now, what is it, 8%, I have, I have XP Quince, 6%, 14%, I have 19% experience, bonus experience. Uh, it's it's a build that I'm I'm trying out right now. Oh, they're definitely doing uh Oh, we're doing this? Whew. This is going to be fun. We know we see Aurelia walk over here. We know 100% she's in that bush. What? Please die. Where she What what? 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 I when I said a hundred percent, I really meant we have absolutely no idea where she is. Oh, she juked us so freaking hard there. This shiv is going nuts though. Oh, Lisa wants a pull there. We go ahead and go out. Oh, this shiv gonna go ahead and look to steal big rates. A big wraith. I hope she doesn't clear the full camp. Leave, leave one, leave one, please, 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 please. She did leave one. Okay, really good job. Go ahead and give a bomb. My bomb range. What is it? It's like 650. It's pretty good. You see Ori on, on up there, or really up there, Ori's middle. I see Ori without any. MR, which is good for me, but her ball E gives her 10 MR, so and 10 armor. Not really a big deal. It's a level two already. She's level two as well. She's looking to try to shut the way back a little bit, which is smart. Ow, that shit hurts. Hmm. I'd actually trade with autos as well because her autos are so damaging right now after the, the new buff that I need to be able to get at least a bomb auto trade for yes. her Q trade. Oh, the player says I have no AP, which is right. But there's a reason for that. That reason is because I'm. Whoa, is she going to get another auto in here? Hmm. Oh, I got an auto trade. Really, really good trade there. See, she runs in the middle of the creep wave. This last hit very calmly right now. How's CS like 24 to 11? Alright. I could have probably killed her had I ignited her as well. Ugh. What's she gonna do? Uh, I tried to. Try to make a play like that there. Go ahead and bomb that. I was thinking about trying to do a double bomb from the back. Well, I should have started three health potions in one mana. I think that would have been a little bit better. But whatever, I'm just experimenting with builds right now. Oh, my mastery page is ridiculously strange, and I've got like strange everything pretty much. To dead. Nope. Should be fine too. Yeah, I go ahead and get myself out. That's kind of what happens when you don't have 21, 21 uh, offense. Like when you go all in, to all in stuff, it's not, it's not as good as it could be. F this and Mumu. My God. Oh my God. Am I dead? No, I'm good. <laughs> uh, red buff OP. Almost killed me. 
I'll go ahead and do the... Uh, there's a couple builds I like to do. But I think I'm going to go the Double Dorns route this game. That gives me enough gold for one pot. And I'll probably make it to middle and be okay. Uh, it also helps out the future build I'm going to go after that. I think I'm going to try... Go back to my Chalice build again. Uh, because they recently buffed the things. So I really want to try to see how it works out. So we see I pick up Time Warp at 2 because I want to dodge ganks. But in this game I didn't really get ganked. Like it was a Moo Moo and he decided to go top instead. My Lee Sin's level 5. So he's actually doing really well. He's got two kills. My bottom lane and my like all my lanes ended up winning this game, which is pretty ridiculous. Come back here. Alright. My top lane and my bottom lane won. You see middle lane hard hard to actually get kills in or anything like that. Ooh. Wanna go in on that, but Go ahead and bomb that, clear out the back line. Oh, that actually didn't kill. Ooh. Un misjudge my damage there. I don't think I should be spending that much mana without blue buff. I really should be a little bit careful about my mana because I do I do still need 125 for my ulti. Yeah. Just go ahead and bomb one at a time. Slowly wear this this Oriana down. I see the Oriana's going for blue buff, and I, as I see that, I just shut shut the lane immediately. I'm gonna make it so she actually can't cut through here. So I'm gonna go ahead. And, okay, so she actually cuts through top. Go over here. Three hundred six. I'm gonna go ahead and get blue buff like that because I don't want uh. Lee Sin to stay too long for uh, the, the four seconds or so it takes my time bomb to tick off. Hmm. I can just do this. Wow, I don't have the mana for that. Wow. Freaking mana. Whatever, I still get all the CS in lanes, just I kind of take too much damage doing that. Go ahead and back out. I was pretty sure if she all in me there, I'd have enough mana to get my Chrono Shift up. I was only like an 18 away when I went all in there. Yeah, Oriana just, like me and Oriana aren't doing anything. I'm 68 to her, to her 63 farm and it's really nothing is happening right now. Go ahead and go Chalice. And Shiv and Lee Sin are just counter jungling the heck out of this Mumu right now. Ooh, but they went too deep for that one. I don't think that's a good idea. Please let Oriana run through here. Uh, she's not. She's not stupid. Okay, never mind. I thought maybe she'd run through there. Ooh, she did. I wonder if I got the kill on that. I didn't? Really? Oh my god. And this is this is kind of annoying me because I'm pretty sure uh, had I had either level 9 or playing one in offense, I would have been able to get the kill there. Go ahead and double bomb this. Challenge and blue buff. This Oriana is just like... Wow, oh, my team is literally carrying me right now. There's literally nothing I, I, I have to do. And see, bot lane lost this horribly. And top lane got camped. I think bottom just lost straight up. 
So I did absolutely nothing this game. I can't. I don't even know if this this item build was fine. Or this skill build, sorry. I need to change this over. Yep, he who controls the bottom lane controls the game. So my bottom lane's 5 0. Jeez. Like, go ahead and double bomb that. Force a lot of damage on the Ori there. Since I have Chalice and she has Chalice, we both have pretty good mana sustain options. There wasn't really, like, a big reason for me to roam this game either. It pretty much was just that the lanes ended up losing. That's it. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know if I like 21 utility. Seems okay though. I'm gonna end this game 0 0 0, aren't I? Oh, so she ticked. She dinged and her callus started ticking. Ah, uh, accidentally pressed W a little bit too fast. I'm gonna go ahead and run to this tower because I want to get full life. Alright. I think their team just are already AFK'd. So, like I said in the Korean server, this kind of happens sometimes when the other team literally just AFKs. It's 12 minutes right now, and I've literally done nothing. Like, I got one assist because Lee Sin got a kill on, on mid lane. And their bottom, top, and middle all AFKed. So, we're just gonna push down middle. Hey, there's a move move. I'm glad it doesn't pop. Oh. Ooh, two assists. There, there's the stat padding in full work right there. Now go ahead and keep spamming W, because W lowers your ulti cooldown by 10 seconds every W, so you end up getting really, really fast ultis. Like you pretty much have an ulti every fight if you want it. Corky's deck, jeez, almost has his IE. Top lanes. Uh, Actually, wow, we have so many people close to my level, even though I went XP, runes, and 21 utility. I don't understand, like, why isn't Corky with us? Uh oh, Ori's just running away. Oh wow, this tower hurts. No, I bombed the Alistar, and he didn't live. Yeah, this game was over at, at like five minutes. One of those, uh, was just those super snowball lanes. <sighs> this game does absolutely nothing. Absolutely nothing. I don't even know what to say about that game because I literally did absolutely nothing and I ended up winning the game.
Alright, if you're curious, I don't type when my commercials are playing, or I don't talk when my commercials are playing because there's really not a reason. Like, I don't want people to miss out any, on anything because they have they don't have app lock on or they see commercials. Find that that was the best, pretty much the, the best solution I can come up with. No, I think the solo queue in Korea is definitely more competitive. I just feel like there's a lot better players. The only issue is that like when you get to high elo, you, you see a lot of the same people and some of them are like are pretty unreliable. Uh, but that that's generically in every high elo uh, solo queue, so it's just like a it's not like a Korean only issue. It's a, it's an issue in all all the servers. Can you show us the whole place we replaced at the moment? No, because I don't have a, I like the webcam I'm using is attached to my laptop, and my laptop is like ridiculously large, so to actually like carry it around would be insane. Uh, it's just a very small place. You have a you have a door, a washer, and like two beds, and that's it. No restroom over there. I didn't watch Evo because Twitch streams. You can't really watch Twitch streams in Korea. I didn't realize that, but uh, the the closest Twitch server. To Korea is Singapore, and I think the closest own server is a little bit. It's a little bit closer than that. So in own, you get better quality than you do when you have Twitch, and that's just because they don't have server. They don't have server set up in this area yet, which sucks. It just means I couldn't watch you, but. Yeah, it really was weird. I looked for a Twitch server in Korea. I couldn't find one. Uh, people use flat MP5 yellows when scaling breaks even because a lot of times there are certain champions that look to harass at levels 1, 2, 3, 4. And if you don't have if you don't have flat and you're against someone who has scaling, or you have scaling, it sometimes is a difference between like 50 mana that you're able to trade and 50 mana that you can't. Uh, it's just, it's safer to run flat on a lot of champions with the exception of certain champions that don't have like this this cooldowns and the mana cost to actually be able to take advantage of the flat mp5 stuff like uh who has who can't really take advantage of the flat mp5 anivia for instance like you're not going to ca be casting snowballs on on cooldown so flat mp5 for anivia is kind of kind of a waste like you can run run scaling on him Karthus you can harass as early as level one so you have to run fly on him it's not even a question Morgana maybe the one another one of those champions where you don't really need to run it Swain uh and there's a lot more but I just that's the thing closest thing I can think of off the top of my head I have enough. I have RP and IP because these are temporary accounts given to us by Riot for OGN. And as soon as we leave Korea, they'll probably be taken away. No, some regions don't have uh, ads. Like, and if like it just if you don't have ads and you're not running ad blocker, don't worry about it. It doesn't matter. Uh, are you playing any more tournaments? That's a good question. When we were in Korea, we had to actually give up a lot of um, tournaments because they have online qualifiers. So we ended up losing the IPL show off, the face off. We ended up losing the MLG. Uh, oh, we didn't even. We literally didn't even look to do the MLG uh, arena because we knew we would lose online. It was just it was, it was pretty much unbearable. And we played. What else? It's, we won't be at any event until probably MLG Rally and PAX Prime, which is the Season 2 Regionals for NA. Cats probably won't competitive play, but you really need a good, like, a good team to, to make use of it. Like, you need to have, there are a lot of requirements that you need to have when playing Cat, and, you, and she definitely needs to be Cat 100%. ROA is still an excellent item. No, we're in Korea because we're we were playing for the OGN. Unfortunately, we lost in our group stage one two. Uh, a lot of issues occurred 
off those losses and uh, we'll we'll be looking to fix them. The, I I really disliked like how our group stage went. There's nothing more I can say about that. Or nothing more that I want to say about that. My mic seems to be cutting off a lot outside the game, but it seems like in game it, it the sound fixes itself. I'm not sure why my mic my audio quality is bad here. It may just be because the server's too far away. I have no idea. I'm using the exact same settings that I used back at at home on the same exact laptop, but for some reason the audio is just chopping out. Uh, I'll try to fix it later if I stream. Uh, I don't know how much I can stream tomorrow because I have to get to the OG event kind of early, but I'll definitely try to stream for at least Thursday. Thursday would be a good day to stream. Uh, honestly, like we improved so much coming to Korea. I feel like our team got a lot better, but there are some some mechanical issues we need to fix, and there'll be there'll be something big about that pretty soon. Yes, I, I did change the server location. The closest server is Singapore for Twitch, which is... Yeah, we'll probably be streaming pretty, pretty, quite a bit when I get back to the States, but we also have to look to scrim a lot as well. So I'll try to find a good balance of that. I'm going to try to pull off uh, at least four days, three to four days a week. And I feel like that's, that's like a bare minimum. Dude, Crumbs is so good at top, like, I don't know, it's really good at top. I still haven't gotten a Pentico with Cat this season, which is really annoying. Like, really, really annoying. I think Brand is really bad, but Ziggs is definitely viable. Like, I played against Navi, Sizz, and Wayne, and... One game he just, like, carried his whole team with Ziggs. He's really good at Ziggs. Jackie says he fears me the most as a mid laner. That's weird. Did you read Chaucer's opinion on your performance in Korea? No. I don't need to read it. It's gonna literally just say, like, we played poorly. I'm pretty sure. How do you decide to get spell vamp on champions? Uh, it's pretty much like how much you need to sustain, how the team fight you, how you expect the team fight to play out. Because if you expect the team fight to play out to where like you'll need uh, spell vamp either for the lane or for the team fight, and maybe like you're looking to play like a sustained tanky team comp, and you need the spell vamp to keep yourself up in team fights. Like it's all situational, it's based on your team and what you play against and what champion you're using as well. CLG seems to be doing okay. Uh, let's just say, regardless what happens, COG will probably not make it at group stage. Uh, because, from what I understand, they got absolutely screwed in flights. And so they have to miss the last day of the group stage. And you can't win like group stage if you miss a day. Unless you get extremely, extremely lucky. Because they also forfeit all tiebreakers. Uh, it's a really bad situation. CLG is taking it quite well, but I would be kind of pissed if I was them. I haven't seen the new Evelyn. I'll see when it comes out. Uh, there's no way to deal with roamers like TF. Like, TF himself, I feel like if you play a good TF, you have to ban that champion. He is too good. Uh, and, which is why I'm personally very glad that only, like, one player in North America knows how to play TF. And to be honest, all, pretty much all the North American AP mids don't play TF well. Uh, I, including me, and I've tried to put in a lot of TF games to get better. I'm at a place where I'm, like, kind of acceptable, uh, but I still feel like like if you have a team as good as Messiah's from World Elite, 
you auto ban that shit every game. Like it's you cannot deal with it. There's no way where like you can make a comp and you're like, okay, I can deal with TF in this comp. It's just not not possible. At, like everyone's been practicing TF, but like from what I've seen, the TFs that I've seen are still in no way comparable to the good TF players in Korea and and in like China. Like I, there's no way for me to explain just how good Messiah's TF is. Like, it's a magical exper experience when you. When you play, like his team is so comfortable playing TF that anytime they go into an Asian tournament where the third game is buy and pick, that they will automatically pick TF 100%. You only have to guess, like they will pick TF. And like if you leave TF, TF up, it'll pretty much be auto picked by World Elite. I don't think PK's TF is that good, I'll be honest. I think. Like, I've laned against him, and it was not comparable. Yeah, it just wasn't comparable at all. Um... Like... The biggest thing about TF, is, and like I said, the middle lane, it's hard to get any kind of uh, skill comparison after like level 7, let's say like 7 and 9. Uh, it's just kind of, it, like the lane phase pretty much devolves into one one person at one side shoves and the other person at the other side shoves. And since the lane is so close, there's no real way for you to get aggressive. But the 1 through 7, Messiah plays really, 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 really well. Like he's able to keep his farm up, and he's just able to be like a huge presence on the map. It's not really something that I can explain well. Just, it's something that... Ugh. It's just like, he has a lot of, t of map control playing TF. Like, a super heavy map presence. And it means like none of your lanes can play aggressive ever, or else just to get gibbed. I'm get, being asked to ban Lulu, what? Typically not a champion I ever ban. You know what? I, I, I'll i do it. I'll do it. That's not a champion I typically ban, but whatever. We'll go ahead with it. Go ahead and ban Vlad. Oh wow, Dominate popped in a separate game. He's literally at my elo too. Or he's like 50 points below, like 30 points below. Wow, that's kind of... You don't really expect that to happen. Ooh. What's banned? What's up? Get TF banned, Vlad banned. Okay, yeah. Yeah, I'm good, I'm good, good. I go ahead and first bit pass in this game. Whew. Whew. I hate Fizz. Fizz is so effing annoying. So obviously this guy looked to counter pick me middle. Uh, I don't want to play out this this lane. Let me think. Do I want defense? I'll save for twenty one offense so far, and I'll look for a rune page I want to run against this. I want an MR rune page, hundred percent. I want an MR. Uh, I want health per five, just because it's nice to have. Actually, you don't need health per five against Fizz because he kind of cuts it. Really badly. What the heck? Okay, whatever. Leeson. Leeson's fine. Leeson's good. I'll probably run my MR uh, health regen page. So it's health regen quince. MR blue. MR yellow. I'm trying to think, like, because that swing kind of. 
I'm thinking what they're gonna what, what they'll be picking because that phase could be top lane. If that phase is top lane, I'll go, I'll go, I'll go look to see if I switch up my rune page. So just give me a second. Let me see how it works out. Oh yeah, Fisk, Fisk crushes Cast, and if you don't if you don't know how to play the matchup, it's pretty brutal. Uh, ball lock in this page. This is my MR MP5 health regen the mana regen page, and I'll probably go ahead and lock in. Nah. I'm trying to think if I want to get not not into defense. I find health regen really helps Kassen's like hardest part of this game, which is the one through six, the one through five. And if you have health regen, it's really hard for you to lose that that lane. And the only thing you want to do during the one through five is look to harass and look to farm. It's pretty much just farm. Like there's no other point where, uh, like that's all you do. Because once you hit six, like you can roam, you can do all kinds of fancy stuff. But in the first five levels, you're a little bit limited. So is it fizz? What? I'm gonna go ahead and guess it's gonna be ship top and fizz middle. And we'll go ahead and do this accordingly. I think I'm gonna regret not going 9 to defense this game, but we'll see how it, how it works out. I'm casting Group C tomorrow. I'll probably be suited up as well, which will be. I haven't worn a suit in a while. Should be nice. Best cast in the NA scene? Absolutely no idea. So I go 2109 and I go health regen this game. Health regen, mana regen, MR, and magic pen. Alright, so my commercials are done. I played them a little bit early because I know teams really like the level 1. Oh man, I just want to go into the red. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. And like I said, this 4-2 four, this four guy... Ooh. Ooh. We should've just ran in there, what the heck? Like, all I wanted to do was run into red, I'll be honest. It looks like we're still doing that. He pops a health potion. Okay, so I guess we're just gonna go in then. Oh, you missed that kick. That's not good. So you just waste a health potion there. Uh, I suddenly don't think this game will be very promising because for this, for my matchup to win against Fizz, I either have to roam a lot or I have to have Lee Sin come middle. So how did this guy skill? I hope this guy skilled E first. But against someone like Shiv, I don't know. Oh boy. Oh boy. He split XP on Big Wraith. Which is not good. You never want to take the big the big golem from your jungler. How's mid? Some MR. 
Not too much. I'm able to out-trade him right there, though, luckily. And... I look to put some more damage here. Ooh, I can't go for melee range. The, a lot of the reason why FaZe is so strong in lane is because he pretty much ignores creep aggro. Like, creep damage because of his passive. His passive lowers creep damage by, like, 2 a level. So it's really, really annoying. He, he's going to hit level 2 before me, so I have to go ahead and auto-attack this lane. He's one creep away? Yeah. Oh, yeah, there he is. One creep away. And I have to go ahead and probably hang back till I hit 2. There's 2. Go ahead and skill W second because the W lets you last hit the tower and it's good for trading against this guy because he's really annoying. Wow. This gonna be a little bit annoying. Alright, so he doesn't he didn't look to trade there, thank god. And I'm not going to go for that back one because I feel like he's gonna look to trade pretty soon, because he could definitely come out and trades now. And I'll probably just save my mana to last hit. I think that's what I'm, I'm going to go ahead and do. Alright. Oh, I wasn't able to get that popping W. Ooh, my mid lane shows up again? Go ahead and start harassing him. I wasn't able to get all that CS, but I got a lot of it. I missed that one as I was talking. Ooh, I, I popped W there to try to get an auto attack in for some extra damage, but unfortunately I wasn't able to. And it runs out as I hit that one. Ugh, jeez. But he's down the health pot compared to me, so everything looks good for me so far. I have a huge creep wave here, and I'll look to harass him a little bit. I trade, I trade uh, one creep for that harass. Pretty sure that wasn't worth it though, I should have just went for the creep. I'm actually harassing Fizz out here. He's down two health pots now. I have a huge creep wave. And what's their jungler? Nocturne? Ooh, this might be an issue for me later, but... He hits level 4. I have a huge creep wave. Even with his passive, you can't just ignore this creep wave. So Nocturne's top lane. I see... Oh wow, I took a tower shot. That's not good. Wow, okay. Okay. I literally took three tower shots there, which is retarded. It's okay. He misses a lot of CS to go for that kill, which I'm I'm happy about. I really wanted that CS so badly. I took tower shots for it. Never do that. Never ever 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 do that. Don't get that greedy. I was way ahead in the lane, if I just backed out, it would have been fine, but unfortunately I got super greedy for it. I think he's running a MS Quince as well to catch up to me for that Q. I have to go double check though. Like I'm, a, I'm still ahead of him in CS by almost by 8, and the wave is equalized. My Lee Sync got all the XP middle. And I'm about to hit 6, so the lane should be a little bit easier for me. This is a player, a face player that just rushes... Uh, what is it? Wow. Please. I know he hasn't put any wards down because he's still at... Oh, that actually hit? Wow, I'm impressed by that. By that angle of, of kick. I really am. So he hasn't put any wards down. So I know the sides still haven't been warded. I'm about to hit 6 as well, and there I hit 6. It's super hard for him to kill me now. But he can probably still go for it. Alright. So he jukes one of my Qs for an E. His E in mana cost is huge though, and I'll gladly take that trade. Because he's not going, uh... He's not going max mana. Let's go ahead and go top. Ooh, they back out really fast. Okay, so I'm not going top. Go ahead and zoom out. He blows 50 mana plus... I don't think he popped a W for that, but... If he did, it would have been a lot. I'm just looking for mana trades right now, because I don't think I can straight up kill him until I get items. Call mid's missing.
Why does my attack speed feel so fast? Silence him there. Ooh, I should have gone in for that. Why did, I, why did I stall out there? I thought this Fizz was going to do something crazy, but he did it. This Fizz is also one that rushes Abyssal, which is really, really strong against mid laners. Because not only does your damage increase, your resistance to damage increases as well. I will just activate. Can we go ahead and go out? Lee Sin's at level 5, 1 gold per 10? Ooh. Alright. And he dings 6 off that. So his ganking prowess or power will be really, really strong. Oh, like such an early oracles. Like an 8 minute oracles is insane. Uh, oh, really? Oh my. This Lee Sin. Taking my CS. But I, I'm really I'm doing really well in CS right now. 52 to 37. I wanna go ahead and back out for Hmm. From a callus pretty soon. I uh, couldn't get that one, but I just wanted to shove in the wave. So mid decides to pick up the Swark shoes. What's Fizz looking to do? Looking to stall out the wave there? He wants to isolate the wave and keep it there, which is which is fine. It's perfectly good. And I'm looking to... I looked for, uh, whatchamacallit, Amp Tome to look for my Medrise. Because I like... I really like the way Corn Salad builds this champion. And the way he does it is he literally goes callous into Medrise every game, which is insane. Absolutely insane. But it's, it's hilarious and it works. It was so strong that, uh, last season in the OGN, Teams would just ban his uh, cast in every game, regardless of, of like matchup differences. Yeah, okay, so he misses the Q, or he misses the E, I think. He misses the E and the Q. The thing about landing E's on Fizz is it's kind of hard when you're playing Lee Sin because the the E actually comes out like a projectile, which is not something that people really know. A little bit of damage onto that. Now I'm gonna really keep the wave here, so I'm gonna stop auto attacking it. I want Fizz to. to at least be a little bit pressured. Go ahead and R for that last hit. He's how many pots does he have? Hmm, one pot left. Okay. Slowly going for mana trades here, and I have a catalyst, so I'll definitely, I'll definitely be able to harass my lane as long as I play this safe. Whoa! What? What the heck? My frame, my frame rate dropped there so hard. I literally couldn't move. What? Uh, I I'd have to rewatch that. Like that was kind of. Ooh. Yeah, he won't be able to chase that. I don't know. I don't know what happened. Like I could have just flashed away after his follow up, uh, but I couldn't do it because my frame rate dropped as soon as Shivana ulted in. So I had no idea what was happening. Hmm. All right, we're mid backs out. We get a free dragon off this, even though top shoves in. How's top doing right now? We have 94 CS to 69. It's not that great. What? What? 